Hello, so I thought I'd show you how to make a natural, uh, organic recipe for nourishing and moisturising your hair. Now I, I know my hair looks a little bit wet, I've uh, been in the sea and it's just drying at the bottom but my hair from the salt in the water goes very dry like I'm sure a lot of you children you get drier hair when you've had the salt water in it so I thought I would make you a nice moisturizer to try at home make sure you use an ice cream box because you don't want to ruin your mum's uh, dishes or accidentally have an accident so plastic ice cream container is the best and also a knife but it's very blunt it's it's not it's ideal for cutting fruit it will go through which is my first um, ingredient from my moisturizer is an avocado now that will cut through an avocado no problem you also need a teaspoon so you can scoop scoop I'll give you that word in the um, on the it's perhaps just there uh, explain how it how it uh, spells yeah okay so avocado is the first ingredient then we have one medium egg we need to use the whole lot okay so you can have a practice in breaking it open okay then we have a little bit of mum's virgin oil so you only need um, probably about half the egg size inside of the half half the eggshell when we break it fill that perhaps once or twice and then put that in your ice cream box okay and then the last bottle would be you'd need to ask your mum for this it's castor oil your mum should do it for you this is normally prescribed by the in well in England this is normally prescribed uh, by the doctor for constipation however I bought it here in Spain and I bought it on Amazon and you can get all different sizes 50 mil 100 mil 250 500 a thousand a liter so all different sizes and this I purely use for my hair okay so very important do not consume it don't put it in there okay it's it's not good all right so always let your mum watch you while you're doing this as well all right she can help you okay so four ingredients so let's get started so firstly we take the avocado and normally it's nice to have the avocado nice and brown so it's nice and ripe okay you don't want any bruising or anything on the avocado because inside you, the flesh will be black rather than green okay so that's quite important you want to have a big avocado rather than a smaller one so what you do is you get your knife and you cut halfway well basically down the center of the avocado and you turn the avocado around the stone you make sure that the knife hits the stone so we go round like so and then we twist it and there we go we've got a nice healthy avocado now this stone is not good for you okay in the dustbin in la basura okay very important if it's eaten it's toxic okay so you must not eat that give it to mummy okay she can put it in the bin for you also the okay. skin needs to be removed that's also not good for you to eat okay and this is not um anyway this is not for something to eat anyway we're putting it on our hair remember okay so right so we take this so we take actually we can use the knife so we just go like this and we twist and there you go and it comes out like that and we put that to the side or we go and put it in the bin okay then we take our teaspoon and we scoop out the flesh into our ice cream box like so like 
like this. Ooh. Try be gentle to not break the skin like I just have. So we scoop out all the the innards like this. Hang on. Hey. Okay. Make sure you've got no skin inside because you don't want the skin in the in the ice cream box. Okay, so there's all the so I've scooped that out like that. Yeah. Put that to the side. Then we take the other half and do exactly the same thing. So we sort of go round the skin, on the surface of the skin, and just go round like an ice cream scoop. Similar. And we just go round, take the flesh, and drop it, drop into the ice cream box. Okay, I think that's every part of it. Right. Okay. So if you can keep one of the avocados nice in its shape, we can use that for our castor oil to measure, okay? Because we need more castor oil than the olive oil because the castor oil is the stuff that helps your hair grow faster. Because I've used this before and overnight, it will grow like two or three millimeters overnight if you keep it in a towel. That's another thing, you need a towel. So I've got an old towel because you're going to watch me put it on my hair and then you need to put a towel around it so you don't get it all messy on the furniture and your clothes and stuff, okay? Right, so, so now we're going to crush and mush, make it mushy, all the avocado, so it goes like a softer uh, texture then, okay? So we need a fork for that, so I need to go and get one, okay? Okay, so now I've got my fork. So now we're going to smash the avocado to small lumps. So like, similar to blending in a machine, but we don't need to blend it in the machine. We will do it manually. Because that's the exciting bit to do, isn't it, kids, eh? So we just mush all that up, like so. This is ideal for the summer, you know, when you're out in the beach a lot and the sun is beating down on your hair and it's making it all dry. Then you'll go into the sea, have it, get it all salt water in it and sand. This is really good when you've come out of the sea. Uh, so you're not going to go in the sea for a few days. And you put this on just before you go to bed, after your bedtime reading story put this on before no sorry not after before and uh, you put the towel around you lay a towel on your pillow and then you fall asleep with your you don't have to actually have a towel on your head but you can lay it over your pillow just to protect your pillowcase and the pillow itself and the bed as well to prevent any gooey um, sticky um, oil going on on your bed okay and then in the morning you go take your shower and wash your hair and wash it all out and then what you'll do is you normally would shampoo it and condition it okay and then after that blow dry it or or the best thing is to leave it naturally to dry on its own okay so as we're mushing it's actually easier when you've got liquid in with it it'll mush a bit better because you've got oils going through it also the oil of uh, you got vitamin E oil in avocado so this is really good for the hair okay so um, we're nearly there look as you can see look nearly there get in there there's a few more lumps but they'll come out when we've got the liquid in there so don't worry too much if you really find it difficult to get the lumps out you could just put the whole lot into a blender batidor yeah so not to worry eh? right now the next ingredient after doing that is the egg so you need to break the egg in fact you could use ooh, getting it everywhere here eh? it is good to wear an apron as well in case just to protect yourself as well okay right so we've got the egg we've got the knife and hold it like this okay get your knife like this yeah and you do this oh so it's broken at the top and you just hold it over and let it drip 
that's the easiest way to do it and then put your thumbs on the line at the top and pull it apart like so and then you let all the liquid go into the avocado there you go and you put your fingers in one side and then your fingers in the other to make sure all the egg white has disappeared now this is a lovely little case for putting a bit of olive oil in so that's my next part I'm going to put some olive oil virgin olive oil this one here and I'm going to put two lots two half a shells worth of olive oil so we pour it in here and then tip and then we pour and then we tip it in so it falls into the egg and the avocado and now we finish with that so that's it okay now get our fork again and we mix it it's a smushy gooey oh the kids love all gooey things don't they so oh lovely and squishy and squashy so let's mix that round make sure you get all the lumps out so push the tips of your fork onto the lumps and just push your fork back like this yeah so it gets all the lumps out because you don't want big lumps stuck in your hair it's not good yeah so let's get that mixed in properly that's it okay get in there right now now we're going to take our avocado which is a perfect avocado half that the skin has not been broken and we're going to fill that up with castor oil now this is the growing power fluid it's brilliant so i've got let me show you you can see i'm going to pour it in so i'm going to fill it up okay fill it up Ooh. fill it up like so that's it okay that's enough don't want it overflowing and then we're going to pick it up very gently and pour it into there here we go okay okay and then we do it one more time all right here we go Ooh. so it's dripping into the avocado skin a bit more before it overflows stop okay grab it with your hand and pour it in okay so that's it that's your final moisturizing uh, magic makes your hair grow and beautiful and smooth and lovely okay i'm just gonna hold that right okay now we mix it fully okay and then we're gonna do the best part which is putting it on your hair so you're gonna can you can watch me do that next so just carry on trying to get all the lumps out it's becoming quite smooth now i'll show you let me see there okay so we're getting nice and smooth get all the lumps out as i said and uh, we'll be nearly there okay so we're finished pretty much we're mixed in i mean if there is a few lumps don't worry about it they'll just fall out into your towel when you put it on your hair okay so now you can see look that's a really soft mixture of uh, avocado egg castor oil and extra virgin oil all mixed together okay now you need to grab an old towel now you need to you can still keep your t-shirt on but i advise you to have an old t-shirt on so so one that doesn't matter you can just put straight into the washing machine okay so i have an old towel it's got a few holes in this one it's from the dogs but anyway uh not from the dogs it's not the dog's towel what i'm saying is the the, the towel has been broken by the dogs so anyway so it's nice and clean towel put it over my shoulders like this to cover up my clothes okay so we're like this okay now <laughs> gonna get my hair out flick it out 
on my t-shirt gonna use my hands I love getting messy so uh, but if you don't you can use a um, scoop you can wear gloves but it's nice to have oily hands because it's good for moisturizing your hands as well I advise to take your jewelry off as well so I'm gonna take my jewelry off uh, oh my wings don't come off oh well doesn't matter you can wash your hands pro really properly afterwards okay so um, I'm gonna put my hand in just take a little bit now I'm gonna start off with my fringe okay to make sure it's totally it's submersed okay Oi, I'm gonna get a mess everywhere it's gonna be dripping if you've got any lumps don't worry about it okay because well you can just squish them in your fingers like so yeah okay right now we get the side part above the ear okay and then we get some more oil you ready for this oh Lord. okay right now and this side on the same side as well on the other side as well yeah a bit more and on the top the crown part of your head make sure you put that on your head like so okay and then oy, oy, oy. you can put that up like that and roll it round in a like a, a bun okay and I've got bloody lemon uh, avocado everywhere right even on my face anyway doesn't matter okay so let's take some more avocado and now we're gonna do it on the back so I'll show you turn round for you okay so we're gonna lift the back the small parts of your hair and you put your hand and and move your hand from down from the neck and upwards like this okay and push it all in like this and if you've got any bits that are left over you can just scoop out with your hand my, I'm losing my towel here okay so let's just put that back so you don't want to get everywhere a mess although it is a mess everywhere anyway okay so we've got the last bit of avocado left scoop that out with my fingers okay okay now we're just gonna pat it and then what we do is just feel all the way around your scalp make sure that it's totally submerged in the liquid okay so now what we do come around so you can see can you see that and you can see all the roots are covered now what you do is you massage the scalp it's really good now you could listen to some music while you're doing this or you could get your mum to give you a nice head massage with one of your favorite songs so but i'm not going to do that because i'm doing this for you at the moment because I'm demonstrating how to do it so but I another other times I do do it with music on and uh, help to helps me to relax before I go to bed and I've got my dog here choppy he wants to have some avocado but obviously do not allow your pets to have any of the avocado okay right so that's pretty much done make sure you massage it in the back here as well because it actually helps moisturize the scalp especially the castor oil the castor oil goes into the skin and goes down into the hair follicles hair roots then yeah so make sure you sculpt your hair so it's all in the top middle middle top top middle okay like that and then we grab our towel and put it over our heads and we're going to make a like a little knot tight round your head and so look like, like a turban then okay so we're going to make a turban so and and tie a knot at the top so the hair stays in the towel are you ready okay. twist the towel like this 
Okay, and we push over like this. That's it. That's it. Job done. So, so what we do is now we go and read a, a bedtime story, although right now it's like four or five o'clock in the afternoon, so probably you won't. But later on, you could have this on all the afternoon, uh, watching a movie or something, and uh, or doing your homework, in fact. And um, we can uh, make sure it's secure and watch it, all right? If it gets insecure, ask your mum to put it right, okay? And then go to bed, make sure you put a towel on the pillow. You can take this one off, put another clean towel on your pillow and go to sleep. And then in the morning, have a nice shower and wash it all out and just use normal, gentle shampoo and conditioner. And then just leave it to dry or if you want to, style it with a hair dryer or a hair curler, whatever. But it will come out really lovely and soft, very healthy, gets rid of all the dry, brittle ends of your hair. Okay, so enjoy. It's nice to be pampered now and then, especially at this moment in time. Take care, everyone. Bye.